Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. I had to hit a high note on you knuckles. Now. Today was very interesting. Looking at what's going on in the home. In the news. And this is the thing. This is the thing. Skip Bayless came out and said um he would pick Baker Mayfield and the Browns to get to the Super Bowl to play um, Tom Brady and the Bucks. Now, Shannon basically picked Pat Mahomes to play Brady again in a rematch. Here's the thing. My thing is this. It's not going to be easy this year to get there. It's going to be competition. A lot of teams have gotten better. A lot of teams are like, look, we're here. We're going to we're going to play. We're coming after the um we're coming after the Bucks and the Chiefs. Now, I believe the Browns will step up and win the North this year. But if the Steelers, if they are a run-based offense and Big Ben just throws the ball when he needs to, then I will go with the Steelers. But I, I'm not surprised if the Browns like get to the Super Bowl. I would not be surprised if they did. I would not be shocked at all. I think people would be shocked because um everybody's saying the Ravens. I don't see it. The Ravens to me didn't get better. I think they took a step or two back. Um I think the Browns have taken a big step up. They had a great draft and they had a great free agency. So they're going to be tough. Do I think the Chiefs could go? Here's the thing with the Chiefs. This is my thing. The Chiefs have got to learn how to balance their offense and what I mean by that is you have to balance your offense by running the ball you see this this is the problem that happened with um, Donovan McNabb in Philadelphia They didn't utilize their running game a lot. They would always throw the ball. They threw the ball more than they um, ran it. And for what he was playing with, Donovan McNabb was playing with some um, some tough guys. I mean, some really tough guys that would get at your head. Now. Pat Mahomes, you know, he's playing in this offense. If Pat Mahomes ever learns how to manage the game, the whole league will be in trouble. It's going to be in trouble.
but he has this strong arm. Everybody feel like, oh man, he can just bombs away anytime he want. That's true, he could. But if you get physical with Tyreek Hill, we've seen it, that he's not the same guy. If you're beating up on him everywhere he goes, he wasn't used to that. People have that Super Bowl um, playbook. They have that, um, they're able to break film down of what the quarterback does great and what the quarterback doesn't do great. My thing is this. If the Browns are going to win, the Browns are going to have to play with, how do I say? The Browns will have to play with the tenacity. They will have to play with the consistency. They'll have to be consistent. They'll have to um they'll have to be mature about everything that they do. Oh, great traffic. They have to be consistent in what they do. They'll have to run the ball. If Baker manages the game and let Kareem Hunt and Chubb eat, the Browns would be a tough team to beat because defensively they're great. They're a tough team to go against. Um, so, but we'll see about that. Um, let's see. Damian Lillard came out, I think it was a few days ago, the day before yesterday, um, basically saying that Dan Patrick basically asked him, is, is he the best player in the league? And Dame, he asked who's the best player in the league, and Dame Lillard basically said Kevin Durant when he's healthy. Um, and he said if he was going to the court to play, who would he get? And he said, I get Kevin Durant. <laughs> If I'm going to the court and have a two-on-two, -two, I'm bringing KD. Now, Dan Patrick asked him the question of if who would you pick that's not on your team because Dame Lillard would have picked somebody on his team. But the question was who would he pick that didn't play on his team and go to the park and play a two-on-two -two with against the other team. He said Kevin Durant, and he also said that – um. When healthy, Kevin Durant is the best player in the league. You got to give it to him. And we've been saying this forever. But see, people don't want to let that notion go. You know, they're so LeBronies driven. You know, they can't see any other player being good or not. And it's sad. It's real sad. that people don't want to give Kevin Durant his credit. And that's how it's going to be. So, they tried to make a big deal out of that. And I'm like this. It's, it's his opinion. He has the right to have an opinion. This is my thing about LeBron fans. It's like, if somebody doesn't pick him, then they're a hater. It's like, dude, no, no, we're not. <laughs> We've just seen better. And we have. These idiots here working on the road, knowing that this is their only main road. 
I swear, boy, text people dumb. Now, now you got, now you got everyone trying to come down on Dane. Basically say he don't know what he's talking about. Um, why is he capping and all this? I mean, he's not. LeBron's not a good basketball player, man. He's a guy who relied on athleticism as soon as it's gone. It's tough. Why do you think he hasn't been playing in these games? Because he's looked terrible. He looks terrible. looks terrible and he played terrible and he tried to shoot the last second shot he missed so now he's embarrassed so and this is the problem we have no more journalism. We have no more integrity. Everybody is a fanboy in the media. Which to me is dumb. Journalists had an unbiased opinion. So can't get mad at people like Dane for saying who's better and I've been telling you guys since Kobe left look KD was the best player hands down he could do everything so much better than um I forgot what I was talking about but um But, um, you know, you guys, it's like you can't have an opinion. You can't form an opinion or with facts. But the integrity of the game has been destroyed. And it's been destroyed by this guy. It's been destroyed by him and his media flunkies. And this is sad. Because I wish I could show my, my, my youth today old basketball tapes like how we were watching it they would be so shocked to see how great these guys were they would be they would be so shocked they would sit there like wow this is crazy You know, so to watch a full game live was was amazing. Like wa watching a full game will change your experience if you're inside the stadium. So, but the integrity is gone. Nobody respects one another. Um, the game is in a sham, is in shambles to me. You know, I feel like I feel like the only way to make it better is to let Adam Silver Slipper go. But that pick that Skip made, I'm I'm I don't have a problem with it because the Bengals, out of everybody else, I mean the Browns, said the Bengals, but the Browns they play tough for everybody else. So. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you, if you like what you hear, you cash out me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDII TV.
Thank you for listening. We are out.